Want to lose thousands of dollars every year paying on inflated property taxes? Of course you don't. Nobody does. That's why it's important to know how Proposition 19 affects you and what you can do about it. Too many people don't consider their tax consequences when it comes to buying and selling their homes. We get asked a lot about Proposition 19. What is it? Why should I care? How does it affect me? Well, Proposition 19 was passed on November 3rd of 2020. As a homeowner or an inheritor, this law can affect you in two ways. First, capital gains taxes, and second, property taxes. So how does that affect homeowners? Well, homeowners have a capital gains tax exemption of $250,000 if you're single and $500,000 if you're married when you sell your primary residence. If you inherit property, capital gains taxes are based on the original price of the home plus improvements. This is called your basis. Proposition 19 allows you to inherit property at $1 million over the basis. So for example, if your parents bought their home for $100,000 and they put another $100,000 into it, your basis is $200,000. If the value of the home was $1.2 million, you wouldn't pay any capital gains tax. However, any amount over the 1.2 would be taxed. Now let's talk about property taxes. If you're 55 and older, you can take your property tax with you on your primary residence when you move, and you can do this three times anywhere in California. The house you are buying needs to be of equal or less in value to the one you are selling. If you buy a house that's higher in value, only the difference will be reassessed. Property taxes on inherited property will be assessed at the current market value unless you move into the home as your primary residence for property values up to $1 million. Anything over that value will be reassessed. Proposition 19 changed some of the tax advantages of Proposition 13. Make sure you talk with your tax professional and knowledgeable real estate agent to help make the right decision for your situation with regards to capital gains and property taxes. Asking the right questions can be the difference of hundreds of thousands of dollars.